I would like to take this time and invite Mrs. Vidya Shri. Uh, I would like to welcome you. Uh, and it is really a great moment for us to invite you as a successful student. Uh, how are you doing today? Yeah, thank you, Naman. Thanks for the invite. Uh, hope you and uh, whole the Think Loudly team are doing good. So uh, I'm very happy and excited to share my journey, how I uh, uh, took myself in the cloud journey. So it's good good to have uh, uh, my experience share with uh, all the students here. You know, you know what, Vidyashari? Every time I meet students, they always ask me a question that, Naman, I am coming from a various different background or I have certain gap in my career. Whether mm -hmm. is it really possible to switch into IT? So, you know, this is something we want to answer these students today who are with us so that they can mm -hmm. understand that if we follow a right strategy, if we follow a right process, then getting a job into IT is not a rocket science, right? That's true. Exactly. Yeah. Even I believe the same. <laughs> so <laughs> I began my uh, IT career as a software tester in a reputed company in India. And okay. uh, uh, later I moved to Canada, uh, but uh, due to the family priorities and uh, taking care of my younger one. So I had to take a career break. So which was not uh, easy for me because uh, when I decided to return to work and uh, the job search was very challenging and uh, the career gap, uh, it feel me always discouraged. So that's why uh, I choose to switch my career to cloud. And uh, uh, by coming, I came across uh, Think Cloudly. So where it uh, took me in the right direction and uh, it upskilled me in uh, Azure actually, Microsoft Azure, which I always wanted to do uh, some uh, career in my uh, in the cloud itself. So I completed uh, two certifications with Think Cloudly. Naman, thank you, and your team guided me step by step throughout this journey. And uh, the trainers, the trainers was extremely uh, very good. Like they explained me the concepts clearly, and the ha especially the thing, uh, the main thing here is the hands-on project. It gave me a very good, strong practical knowledge. And I uh, regularly attend webinars, uh, which played a big role in uh, preparing me to the job market. Uh, and uh, thank you for organizing uh, the good webinars. Yeah, you know what happens with actually that it is it is very impossible to meet hundreds of students every single day or probably in a, you know, in a span of time. So the reason why we host this, uh, you know, web webinar because we want to make sure that we are able to connect with as many people as possible and with this medium we are able to you know transfer the knowledge the small knowledge what we have but with the uh, I mean I know that uh, when you basically have a break in life it was quite uh, it was quite difficult to basically you know come back and start working so what was your motivation what what exactly was your you know state of mind that you want to get back in the industry and plus you wanted to get back, not as a software tester, but now with the cloud. So what exactly yes. was your mindset at that time? Uh, actually, when I when I came to Think Cloudly, I was literally blank, like uh, how to take my career, uh, uh, um, how to restart my career and how to take myself in which path. So these were like some of the things which was running in my mind. But when I, uh, I, I think uh, you really remember the day uh, when I came to you as a uh, really so, a fresh piece like uh, I so you I think you remember that yes so you you provided me all the guidelines and uh, you provided me the lot of information regarding uh, the cloud especially which platform to choose itself is a, was a big question for me like whether to go for AWS or Azure or GCP so uh, after speaking to you guys uh, and uh, the team so I was pretty much clear and uh, I took a demo session and uh, I was very clear that I wanted to take myself in a cloud, especially in Azure. So I choose uh, uh, Microsoft Azure in that way. So uh, it helped me a lot. And uh, 
in a right direction, I can say that in a right direction, which I wanted to be uh, in the path. So that path I choose. And uh, finally, I got succeeded. Uh, today, as a senior so Azure, uh, Azure Cloud developer, uh, so it's it's a very good uh... yeah no with you know what like I still remember our first conversation basically my team told me to talk to you and I mm -hmm. actually called you on your WhatsApp if you remember and we had that discussion that how we basically uh, should be taking care of things uh but but you know thanks uh, uh it doesn't like it the credit doesn't go to the team alone or the the instructor alone or, or me alone it goes like eighty percent of credit goes back to you. The, this, yes. the amount of energy, the amount of efforts, what you put together, that was the main reason that why you could able to shift from your software testing background plus years of break in your in your career and now working for cloud. So I think uh, you can imagine that there is no there is no lot of, uh, you know, uh, relation between software testing and cloud, but still you would you could able to fill that gap. With the knowledge, with the with the certification, and you could able to succeed. But thanks to you, not to and only to the team, but it 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 goes to you and your efforts. Uh, and se second question I wanted to ask you, Vidya, that uh, when you actually planned that I would go for the interview, so how many rounds of interviews uh, you went into? Uh, how many jobs did you apply? And what was your location of your new job? So if you can answer a few things about this job search process. And what's your location of the job? That will help us to understand a few more things about it. Sure. Uh, firstly, like uh, uh, when I moved to Canada, so I was looking for the job of not only particularly in uh, Montreal. So I, I'm based in Montreal. So it's not only based on uh, Montreal. I, I applied throughout Canada. Like uh, uh, as you mentioned in one of the webinar that uh, uh, only going through certain limited amount of uh, job profiles will not be sufficient. So as many jobs as possible, we have to apply it. Like I applied uh, the same route. Like uh, I used to sit for a day and uh, started applying for a minimum of 10 to 15 jobs per day. So uh, every day I used to apply uh, like 10 to 15 jobs minimum. That is that That was the criteria. Like minimum 15, I used to apply. And uh, the uh, one thing is uh, like uh, which paid me off is uh, uh, talking to the consultancies. And uh, I got a call from uh, many of the consultancies. So I, I approached them even though uh, it's a it's, 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 uh, it's not a small, a easy journey with the two years of career gap. Everywhere I could get the rejections, like you have a two years of career gap and uh, you couldn't fill. Uh, so that's that's what the big question mark is. But um, after going through a certain point, like uh, two to three uh, interviews or two to three rounds of uh, interviews with the companies, I gained some confidence and uh, I also... Uh, it, it it i did not lose hopes like keep or keep trying 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 till to uh, till you reach your goal there is a good uh, saying in that so uh, so i did that and uh, finally uh, the finally the fruitful result uh, was in my hand no that's amazing thank you thank you so much vidya i mean see there are a few things guys what vidya mentioned and i think this is something what you have to note down one is that 10 to 15 jobs a day, you know, she applied consistently. See, the market is is crowded. People are applying every time, but you guys have to be in the crowd and you have to make sure that you are, you are being consistent about it. And second thing is that you did not, I mean, what Vidya mentioned that she did not lose any hope. Even she was not getting the results initially, but she did not lose her hope. So that is something what I what I really, really appreciate Vidya for doing that. I think you have motivated many of our students right now. One thing, uh, one last question Vidya I have is like, what about your current job? Have you started working or or, or not? Or, and uh, what where is the job? Is it is it in, in Montreal or is it somewhere else? Um, I, I have started uh, going for the job like uh, from past three months. Recently, I joined. So... 
from uh, i'm going uh, it's based in montreal it's a banking uh, sector so it's it's based, based in montreal right now wonderful thank you vidya thank you for coming up i am sure that you have motivated our students and that was the only intention to yeah. you know bring you bring you here because a request to do join us because the students are in the same boat right now uh, in which you were True. two or three months ago and i wanted to tell them that you know some people think that why am i investing my time working towards it why am i doing it nothing is happening nothing is happening but i think patience consistency and determination are the keys to success isn't it exactly yeah. exactly i i i owe to, owe to that thank you thank you so much vidya i'm and i'm going to definitely touch base with you again if you face any trouble at job you have any query don't forget think loudly is going to be your lifetime partner and let me know yeah. about that thank you definitely thank you very much for the invite uh, numan thank, thank you, you thank you vidya all the very best for you everyone yeah. thank you for watching switch from non it to it today explore www.thinkcloudly.com